Recently, I sent out an anonymous survey and I asked for feedback on a lot of different things, but there was a section at the end where you could just ask me any questions or tell me information that you wanted me to know. And there were a lot of repeating questions and just certain things I wanted to get back to people about, but it was anonymous, so I can't actually email you. So I took a lot of the top questions and I put them in this video. So I'm going to answer all of them for you today. I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now today I'm going to try to make it through a ton of anonymous questions. And again, like I said, I put some together and I did some paraphrasing. So you may or may not recognize your question. And a lot of times I just guessed what you were asking because sometimes you just put small snippet phrases in there. So let's go ahead. So number one, um, how do I create clickable tabs for good notes? So to create clickable tabs for good notes is kind of a tutorial. Um, it's basically just a bookmark, like a URL. It's like an anchor. So if you've ever been on a website and there is a link that links somewhere on another part of the page, that's all a link is in good notes. And if you want, I can do a tutorial. I've added that to my to-do list for YouTube. Number two, am I excited? accepting planners to review on the channel. I am always accepting planners to review on the channel. So you can do one of two things. If you just have a planner that you saw out there and you really hope that I will do an unboxing so you can see what it looks like, leave a comment below and or in any of my videos. And if enough people request it, I will go ahead and purchase that planner to do an unboxing. If you specifically are a plannerpreneur and you created a planner that you would like me to review on the channel, feel free to go ahead and mail that to me. My address is on the about section on YouTube and that's where snail mail goes. I check that box probably once a week. So if you want me to check it a little sooner, just drop me a note and let me know you dropped a planner in the mail to me. Number three, how do I create notebooks? So I'm so glad you asked because I have a workshop called Notebooks, Noteworthy Notebooks, and that is going to be a free webinar. Now, if you, depending on when you're watching this, um, that webinar is probably going to happen in October, to be honest. I have so much other stuff. I have so many books too, like romance books, as you know, I'm an author. So I don't think I'm going to, going to be able to really put that together until October. So make sure you're on the notification list. I will leave the information for that below. Uh, number four, can you do YouTube live streams and start and do your giveaways live. I will probably not only because I'm not a live person. I don't know if you've noticed this. I like I, I like scripted TV. I don't really like reality shows. I don't know. I don't think I love when people do lives, but it, I feel like people are missing out. Like I used to have a corporate America nine to five job and I just feel like it's not fair to people if you are stuck in this job that possibly you hate. And then on top of it, you got missed out on a giveaway that was really fun because it was held during the day while you were at work. I know that's silly, but that's just the way I think because I had a corporate America job for decades. So am I going to live streams? Probably not. Um, also, it's just not my personality. I don't know if you've noticed, I don't really go live on Facebook, but if you ever wanna see me in videos that are kind of off the cuff and unscripted, I am doing Instagram stories quite a lot. Lauren and I are on our way to the mysterious Galaxy Bookstore, which if you didn't know is hidden in the back. It is not that easy to find. No, it's a mystery about how to get here, actually. Yes. <laughs> so out on a walk Yay. with Camila, and we're on the famous Spruce Street suspension bridge. <laughs> so here's the view here from the is. bridge. <laughs> it's a pretty long drop. It is, and there's a person running in hey, front of uh, us. Uh-oh. <laughs> But I filmed a lot of cool things today. I did the May box. I did a day spring planner. I did a faith planner. I did some Bible journals. So I got a ton of cool stuff coming on the channel. So I hope everyone's having a great night. It is um, like 1030, I think. I don't know, our electricity is out. So once a quarter in San Diego, the electric company turns off the entire power grid for our block for maintenance. So we're just hanging out with some kids. I'm so excited. It's Tuesday night. Normally we do Taco Tuesday, but our favorite place is packed. So instead we're at Brooklyn Girl, How's which is my How next favorite place. Good? How are you? And 
you know, quite honestly, if I did do a live, we would probably talk about silly stuff. Like, I think there was a live Q&A if you were in any of my courses where someone asked me about my eyebrows and we went off on a tangent about microblading because my eyebrows are microbladed. And then I talked about the different colors and powdering and a lot of stuff that had nothing to do with anything. We even started talking about celebrity eyebrows, guessing who had been microbladed or not. So we could do a live stream, but I feel like people would probably get really annoyed unless you were totally into like just hanging out and talking about whatever happened to come into my brain or some other subject that somebody talked about. So I am sparing you the pain of being with me live. But if you ever meet me in person, you'll know that's just how I am. I talk very fast and I talk sometimes about just whatever that happens to be a topic that is even tangentially related. So even see right now, I'm just babbling on. So let's move to the next question, which is number five. Um, will you do InDesign hacks? And no, I probably will not do InDesign hacks only because I am not a channel that talks about InDesign just to talk about InDesign. I mainly just give you tools, like I always say, to help you do something specific, like to create a magazine cover layout, to create a cookbook, to create a, uh, planner, obviously, to create stationery. So unless there is a specific reason to do something, I don't have a channel of just like, I don't know if you've ever noticed, I'm never like, here are my top 10 InDesign things. I just feel like when I learned those things, like when I was learning InDesign, that was very painful to me because uh, what was I supposed to do with all this knowledge? Should I memorize it? Should I write it down? Should I practice doing these random things? So it didn't really make a lot of sense. And just like you, when you Google stuff, you only Google it, you know, when you need it. Like, how do I put a checkbox in this form? So Sorry, probably not going to happen. Um, number six, oh, uh, let me take, go back. But if you love learning about InDesign hacks, I do have a great video on how I learned InDesign. I will leave a link for that below and you should watch it because there are a ton of other people who do love talking about InDesign tips and tricks all the time and doing tutorials. Number six, um, will you talk about how to create an Etsy shop? I do talk about how to create an Etsy shop in the Etsy Kickstarter, um, and I have a tutorial on how to set your shop up. I have a tutorial on how to hook up your shop with Google Analytics. I have a tutorial on how to create your big banner, or not how to create, how to upload your big banner, but I will probably not talk about Etsy shop anything really, unless like maybe once in a blue moon here on this channel, mostly because I think Etsy, although it's excellent, I think it is a great marketing tool. It's just a platform, like a means to an ends to sell your planners or your notebooks, your arts or prints or whatever you are doing. I don't, I'm not like an Etsy specific like channel where you go to for guru information. And in fact, I should probably just make a video. So I will make, put that on my list. I'm going to make a video on how I learned Etsy and my favorite Etsy advice channels because I think there are so many other people who are just killing it on talking about Etsy and they just love, love, love talking about Etsy and that is not something that I could see myself really uh, getting excited about. So, but I will leave a video on places I go when I do want to learn about Etsy. So number six, Seven, is that right? Number seven, um, how do I find covers and binders? So this is a very different question because if you are someone who just likes using planners, not necessarily creating and designing them, you can find covers and binders everywhere. You can find them, you know, tons of people are making them. I actually don't know. Erin Condren makes folios. Um, some people make, tons of people on Etsy make printables. Um, if you're wondering how to create them, like if you're looking for InDesign templates on covers and binders specifically, I include covers inside of the templates that you buy. Like, so for example, the weekly template, which is again, the most popular uh, bestseller in the shop, that actually has five different covers already built into the weekly planner that you download. And I don't sell the covers separately because I feel like that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. You don't really need a cover. You probably need um, the layout more than you do the cover per se. So. That's all I got for that. Um, number eight. <laughs> number eight, where do I find dividers and sticker templates? So divider and sticker templates, I'm going to assume you're talking about tabs and I don't have those, but that is an excellent idea. So I am going to, do, I put it down a note to do tutorials on tabs, especially there's a huge difference on when you're creating tabs in InDesign for yourself that you're going to send to a silhouette or a Cricut to be cut 
versus when you are creating those for a production company over in China to get made for you, or even if you're producing it for a local printer who is going to cut those for you. So I will talk about those as well as creating some templates for you in some different sizes, because I think honestly, I have a video on how to resize pages like A5, A3, A4 mini personal. So I'll leave a link for that below. But if you are trying to resize covers, it I don't think it works the same. It's just not gonna, cause it covers are a shape, it has some cutting to it. So um, let me try to put together a package for you if that is something that you're really interested in uh, for production. So I'll add that to the list. Uh, all right, so we are on number nine. How do I create tabs for dividers? So same thing that is on the list, very, very, like related to the same subject. And number 10, will you put a frequent buyer program together or some sort of reward system? So I would love to. Um, I actually don't know that I have enough products for to create a reward system for you. So, you know, you can only buy so many things for me because I don't have that many templates out there. So I think what I could do instead is I could try to offer bundles for you. Uh, I think bundles might be more helpful. So going forward in the future, I will look at ways that I can combine things that make a lot of sense. I think somebody else asked if I would create a bundle of the weekly, the annual, the monthly, you know, obviously if you're creating a planner, then you can mix and match between all of those. So the other ones going forward, I'll try to think of ways to naturally put a bundle together for that as well. All right, so I am, those are all the questions really that I got. I got some one-off questions. I got some questions that didn't make a lot of sense, so I didn't really answer those. Maybe you just had a sentence that you didn't finish or you hit return on accident too early. But if you have other questions, I would love to answer them. Go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I check YouTube pretty much every day and answer every single comment. All right. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.